Drewniane kilofy będą, będą. <laughs> There will be wooden uh, kilofs. So maybe I should go to my more visual stuff. Okay, so right now, uh, instead of showing you how you can ge uh, generate uh, voxel, or maybe I will do this quickly. But I already made the, about this tutorial, so you can check this out. So I will just copy my uh, generation code. So we have a construction script, but we also need to uh, fill our uh, values, right? And then construct. So basically, everything what I need is just a function to generate chunks. So generate a chunk. And it will be just uh, uh, just void, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, I can just take this. And one more thing, uh, I need to. Uh, it will be just much much faster. Okay, mm. so uh, generating chunks will be just filling this array, uh, which is uh, chunk fields. Yeah, and uh, it has to be uh, uh, the same size as my uh, to chunk total elements. Total elements. So I just in initialize my uh, or just create a uh, number of elements. And yeah, and uh, so I can just use my uh, free loops. It will be one for uh, X coordinate, second one for uh, Y coordinate and then for Z coordinate. You can notice that Z is uh, just Z elements instead of line elements. Yeah. And we can just uh, do something with this right now. And the first thing uh, is just uh, setting my index because I have a one dimensional array. This chunk fields is just the array. So I need index to this element. So it's just x plus y uh, multiplied by chunk line elements and the same with z. Okay, and uh, I will need. For now, for this generation, uh, I will just use something like, uh, yeah. So if Z is uh, lower than 30, maybe just not, it will be just one. If it's uh, higher, it will be just zero. So I should get these chunks. So it will be my simple generation for now. And second uh, thing will be just uh, update my mesh which will be just generating uh, faces from my voxels nicer uh, okay so we have our uh, simple generation just uh, if chunks are below 30 is just uh, one so we will just spawning some uh, voxels if it's higher it's just not nothing so it's sky uh, so it's our uh, generate chunk, but I need update mesh. So this is uh, another uh, void update mesh. And inside, uh, okay, we can just create uh, our generation. So uh, basically, Everything what I should to do right now is just getting uh, coordinates of my... Uh, uh, because I need uh, four things. There is a really uh, nice and simple uh, generation and one function which is... Ah, great, thanks. <laughs> I don't know if it's necessary, but maybe yeah, I should. Uh, okay. So we are on the right track right now, and I'm getting better. <laughs> so uh, 
there is one function which basically is uh, uh, is a create mesh section and it looks like maybe I can copy this and yeah uh, and I will use my mesh section so it will be just update mesh I will just create a mesh section or maybe just vertices instead of this yeah it will be much better so this is my simple uh, creation of uh, so just procedural component create mesh section and uh, it will be just index zero so I will get only one type of voxels right now yeah so yeah and I need to fill my vertices, triangles, normals, UVs, vertex colors, and tangents. And we can just read uh, all these values from uh, 3D Studio Max. So basically, uh, if I want to do this, but I don't want to go too deep, uh, to create this voxel, I would just... Okay, great. Huh. Oh, why it's going? No, why it's so long? What the fuck? Okay, so maybe just create uh, this, and I will be needing um, hmm? these values. Okay, and element ID. It's okay. So for now, it's it's fine. So we have uh, tangents, vertex, colors, uh, UVs, normals, uh, vertices, and triangles, which are just a vector or integer or 2D vector. Tangents are, the, uh, are just <coughs> special uh, structure, uh, structure. We can just check this out. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay so we can just uh, go back and uh, to create a voxel we just need box and uh, it will be just 50 by 50 by 50 and i won't go too deep and because there is no time for that so uh, basically i just need to move this to the middle and yeah, if I want to uh, read this uh, coordinates of these uh, vertices, I will, would just export this as uh, obg. Uh, and it will be my cube. And not fbx because it's wrong. It will be obg. And like that, I will get my, my coordinates. As you can see, we have eight vertices and uh, 12 triangles. Uh, okay because we have two triangles every side and we have six sides so which is fine so we can just mm -hmm, go to cube and inside we have uh, our values i can just uh, and we have one two three three four one and go on we have all vertices and yeah we can just read this and copy this and paste this but I already uh, did this. Uh, yeah, I feel my. Uh, uh, it's right here. Okay. I feel my uh, array, which wasn't too complicated. So I have my first uh, face, which has uh, four vertices. And I'm using four vertices for every face. So left, right, top, bottom, and front, uh, back, uh, back. Yeah. And I can use this, uh, as you can see, this is more like a uh, blueprint uh, format. So I can just paste this straight to my blueprint array. But I did this, the same with my uh, values. So this is just a uh, format for C++. Yeah, so just vertices, add a vector and, and go on. And I do the same for... Uh, these are number of uh, triangles. So this is my first phase, second one, just two triangles, yeah? And I realize this is the same uh, vertices number, yeah? Just, 
So I just add four uh, every time. I add new uh, triangle, yeah? So I just increase by four every time I get, because every side is just uh, made from four uh, vertices, yeah? And we have uh, UVs, and they are exactly the same every time, so it's just starting from zero, zero, then one, zero, one, one, and zero, one. And normals. Normal are exactly the same as our mask, but I will uh, go there uh, yeah, later on. So our mask, uh, yeah. So if it's top face, we just get uh, normal to the top, uh, then to the bottom. As you can see, it's Z coordinate, just to the bottom. Then we have front, one, just, uh, just back side is minus one. And we have one for this one, yeah? And minus one. So this is just right and left. And exactly the same, everything like that, we have in in our uh, code. And I can just take this, because this is my configuration. So I can just paste this, uh, yeah. And you can see. So we have uh, for every triangle, 2, 1, 0, and 0, 3, 2. And like I said, we have top, bottom, and bottom, uh, front, back, and uh, right, left. And the same for our mask. So it's just top, minus one. Uh, why I, uh, we need mask? Because uh, we just need to add this vector every time we just want to check uh, s surrounding uh, voxel, yeah, nearby, yeah. So if we're just moving to the uh, closed uh, voxel, we want to know if, yeah, we need to spawn this uh, this face, yeah, because if there is uh, one voxel, we don't have to, yeah. Okay, so I will be using this uh, arrays, and yeah, uh, time to just spawn first uh, terrain, yeah. Okay, so. Uh, we need, uh, like before, we need four uh, loops. And yeah, uh, I can just copy this for now. Okay, so we have uh, our three loops like before. And we have our index, which is exactly the same. And we have this value get from chunk fields. So just, this is just a value of our uh, voxel, yeah? So if it's zero, zero it's just uh, empty. And we can just uh, check if our voxel is uh, is higher than zero, which means there, there should be something. And we can just decre decrement this because every array is from, from zero. So if I get one, I will get zero anyway. Okay, and uh, yeah. So right now, I just, okay. Uh, this is hard part because I have a really different code, but we will just uh, make this simple, uh, I, hopefully. Mm, yeah. So maybe I will just take this. Okay, let's try this out. Okay, there is a lot, but I will explain this. Okay, and yeah. So like I said before, we are increasing uh, number of triangles uh, by four. That's why uh, I have this uh, value right here. And uh, when this uh, loop just finished, we just have uh, element numbers by triangle numbers, adding. Uh, yeah, and the uh, triangle numbers just increase by four, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, uh, 
because I'm using a array of this, I need to switch. Um, okay, so I will just get my element ID instead of this. So I don't need uh, this one because I have only one face. So I'm using element ID and okay so everything should be fine and uh, yeah element id should be increased by triangle number so it's like that and we have this element id i'm hoping this is uh, it will be working yeah so let's try this out Let's build. Okay, and we need uh, also some uh, other things. So this procedural component. Uh, okay, okay, yeah, and it succeeds fully. Okay. So we have also create mesh section, and there is. Uh, Okay. Uh, clear all mesh sections. This is really uh, function just to get rid of uh, our faces uh, generated before. Okay. Okay. We have also material, but this is fine. So uh, we will just run this without materials, and we should get some result. And like I said before, this generation is just from uh, from yeah zero to twenty nine, and uh, then we will get uh, just sky yeah. So this is just this simple generation. Okay, and I'm using this uh, really uh, this one function, and uh, this uh, every one every case is just one uh, face yeah. So I just uh, turn this. From my Excel file, yeah. And voxel size is just uh, this uh, 50 and minus 50, like, like I took from, yeah. So this is just like that. Okay. So right now, there should be something on the screen. I hope so. Okay, we have something. Okay, and uh, as you can see, we just generated uh, this. And it's working, so every chunk is just generated. And as you can see, it's uh, yeah, it's really tall, and there is no noise right now. 